In this tutorial, I'll talk about AEM at a high level. So, as per the Adobe, AEM is Comprehensive Content Management Solution for building website, apps and forms. It also makes easy to manage your content and digital assets. So, what they are saying? AEM give you all the functionality and the infrastructure to build and run your website, a complete website. CMS helps you create, manage, uh, create, manage, modify content on a website without technical expertise, which I have already explained why in last tutorials. So, AEM or more precisely Experience Manager is a part of Adobe Cloud. This is one of the solution available in Adobe Cloud. Adobe Cloud has, Adobe Experience Cloud has other solution as well for uh, analytics, for uh, campaign, for personalization um, and the commerce. AEM is one of the solution or a content management system or solution available in Adobe Cloud to create website and apps and forms. So AEM nowadays comes with two flavors. One is standalone or on-premises. Now the one is a cloud-based or sometimes you read AEM as a cloud service. Standalone is where you have a jar and wherever you need AEM instance, you need to install that. You can install in your local machine as well as over internet in your private space, means over AWS or any cloud where you maintain that AEM instance. Adobe also provides services for these kind of uh, installation called AMS, Adobe Managed Services. Another one is cloud-based, where the instance are only and only installed over cloud and Adobe provide you sandboxes, means you can access that and use that. But this cloud-based is also in two flavors at a high level, standalone jar and sandboxes. Sandbox, I have already explained, installed over cloud, you have a URL, access that URL whenever you need. But for the development purpose, Adobe provide you another way, a jar, same as a standalone, which you can install on your local and work locally on your machine. But this is only for your local machine. Okay, you do not install that on your cloud where cloud only the sandboxes are available. So you can have on premises and cloud based. Cloud-based standalone jar work exactly same as a standalone jar, okay? So the standard version is 6.5.x for the on-premises or the standalone and cloud you don't have generally versions, those are updated by Adobe itself. So AEM provide you three functionalities, sites, assets and forms. There are the functionalities available, lot of, but I'm talking about the outcome what you can get it out of it. So you can create sites, you can have assets. Assets is a big functionality in AM. We'll talk about that in coming tutorials and the forms. Forms are not by default available with vanilla instance. You have to get a add-on package and you have to install it to work with forms. As I have already explained, there are three types of CMS, traditional, headless and hybrid. So your AEM comes in a category of hybrid CMS because it provides you the functionality of traditional CMS, decoupled CMS as well as it will give you a headless features as well. Means you can, this can provide you content for the other systems as well. So uh, in the form of JSON or XML. So, at a high level, AEM provide you these functionality at a high level. There are others as well. Content management system, digital asset management means you can create, edit, update, publish your content. You can have digital assets as well. You can have assets, uh, images, videos, and you can have different renditions of these assets. We'll talk about these renditions and all how it will manage the assets. It will give you a way over, you know, you have access control over your content using the permissions management. You can create forms man, forms there. It will provide you headless features. 
it will provide you a front end functionality as well in build where you can write your front end okay the specific uh, language comes with am you can write your front end code in that front end in the sense the rendering it is same as html we'll talk about that later it will provide you container where you you can deploy your servlets and servlet can run without any without the help of any third party systems there already a container which is apache container and which is comes with aem itself you can build website and run website so you can run your back end functionality within aem itself you do not need any third party application to run your website at a means actual environment you use some other services means other application but that just to enhance the performance okay we'll talk about that this was just a introduction to aem okay we'll talk about that in detail later if you have any question please add your comment thank you